Hi. All right, so earlier today, our uh, our dishwasher kind of stopped working. So, yeah, we don't, this is like not even functionable. I think it's like over like 16 years old. So it might be time for a new one anyways. But uh, that's where my parents went right now. They're going dishwasher shopping this evening. So that sounds exciting. But I decided to stay home and uh, get some work done. What's up, guys? It's late check this out this is what I've learned how to do I kind of taught myself how to like color correct my negatives like I can take pictures of my negatives and uh, use them in like Photoshop or Lightroom uh, this is gonna be like a, a a little photo tip vlog so some of you guys you can pretty much just check out now because that's pretty much what we're gonna wrap up doing but uh, it could be of use to you in the future and I think it's pretty cool it's interesting. What you do is you take a picture of your negatives up against, you could do it like on your iPad. I have a light box specifically for negatives, but you can just like set up like a white screen on your iPad, take a picture of your negatives, or even like I could put it on this light because I have uh, I have wax paper on it to kind of like diffuse it so it's not as hard. You can set it up on there, take a picture of it, bring it into Photoshop, and then uh, this is what you're going to get. This is what your picture's gonna look like. It's just the negative, kinda hard to tell what it is. It's the negative colors, hence the name negative. So you're gonna go up to uh, adjustments and invert. I actually, uh, I actually do it in Lightroom, but for the sake of this, I'm just gonna bounce back and forth. So when you invert it, you're gonna get, this is the main color. So this is basically uh, what your image is, but now you have to take all this blue out of it and get the colors that you want. So one way to do it is you can go into uh, levels and just play around with that. Maybe like your red channel. Um, get some more reds in there to kind of like diffuse that blue. Actually I'll take the blue and even knock that back a little bit. There we go. Play around with the greens. Even mess with the contrast a little bit. You can, you know, like fine tune and basically get the exact colors that you're looking for. As you can see, the image is already coming up. A little bit more so like the more around the more that you play around with it um, the more it will come to there we go uh, and actually what I like to do is I'll even duplicate it and um, multiply it and then I'll bring in like a darker contrast and then you can even play with like the fill and stuff like that and um, yeah this isn't this one was just for the sake of the demo. I actually color corrected it earlier. And uh, I came up with like this. And not that. This is the one that I did in Lightroom. Check this out. It's pretty much the exact same as the original. I, I personally, I like using Lightroom a lot more just for pictures because it gives you a lot more control over like a bunch of different things. Uh, that you don't have in Photoshop and I don't know personally I just think it's a little bit easier to like mess with photos when it comes to just like messing with raw photos so yeah I think that's like really cool and then how, what I'll do is I'll just uh, I could either have this printed because we have a photo printer back here and I can crop it down or I can leave the actual film see like the film strips actually up here this was my 16th picture yeah, I could crop it down or leave that just for the effect. I think it looks really cool. It almost kind of looks like a movie when you have it like this. But yeah, it, it's like sweet, like being able to color correct your images and taking them and, and almost kind of like developing them yourself without actually developing them, if you know what I mean. I'd still like take them to Walgreens or Walmart or wherever you get your pictures developed. And uh, it, it's basically just a money saver, especially if you're just going to be scanning in your pictures that you take on your 35 millimeter to the computer anyway, which is what I do. I mean, some I'll probably get printed, but otherwise. But otherwise, yeah, this is like a much cost, costly effective way of doing things. 
it only would cost like a buck, a buck fifty, like two dollars to have a roll developed. And then, uh, yeah, I just come in and, and basically even make my pictures look however I want. I could color grade them in any way that I uh, that I really want. But I don't know. It, it's just like really cool being able to do that. It's it's different and it's fun. And that's what I've been like playing around with today and tonight. So uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun doing that. And I don't know. It's it's relaxing. It's it's what I do. So um, yeah, that's that's all I got for today's video. I just wanted to show you something. A little bit cool, something uh, that might spark your curiosity as well. And um, I encourage you to like maybe even try doing it yourself. You can even, even if you don't have a camera, you can just get one of those disposable cameras and then uh, take some pictures with that and then get the negatives from that and even try this technique. Um, you, you might not even need Photoshop, honestly. Like there's so many things online. You could probably just find something that would, uh, you could edit them online somewhere. I don't know anything personally but I'm sure it's out there and uh, I don't know if you have a passion for it uh, it's a lot of fun Some, something to pass the time and uh, it looks really cool and it gives you like a whole new appreciation for the art form so yeah um, I'm, I haven't seen my parents actually so I don't know if they got a dishwasher tonight but uh, I guess we'll we'll see tomorrow bright and early uh, Bengals are playing and everything else so that is it for today guys hope you enjoyed this quick little tip tutorial video and uh yeah it's just something i do with my pictures so we love you guys we'll see you guys tomorrow Thank <laughs> you.